Welcome to beautiful Coral Bay. We arrived here yesterday, but decided just to not roll the cameras because uh, we we're both pretty exhausted from a busy five days of filming in Karajini. Yeah, it was kind of nice just to have a little break from filming and just uh, get ourselves settled and have a chilled afternoon and had some showers. Oh, just oh. Yeah, four hours in the shower, just scrubbing all that. You should have seen dust. the amount of red dirt that came out of my hair. It was disgusting. Um, now it's nice and clean now. Yeah. Um, so it's quite windy in Coral Bay, one of the windiest times I've ever experienced. I've been here a few times over the years and uh, she's pretty windy blowing a gale out there but we have yeah. still headed down to Five Fingers this morning to do a bit of snorkeling. Uh, well I did anyway. Too cold for me. The wind chill factor. <laughs> it's fine when you're in but the wind chill factor when you get out is just a little bit too icy for me and I'm quite happy to sit and look at the beautiful view. Yeah so now we're going to head back in to town. Uh, we actually picked up a couple of our German backpackers uh, on the drive into Five yeah, Fingers. Yeah they asked if they could get a lift out to here because it saves them walking so yeah we said, why yeah. not? we got back seats, a bit of a novelty. <laughs> the back seats were full, but we emptied all our stuff into the canopy and uh, gave them a lift down to the beach. Yeah. They're just finishing up their snorkel now. We'll give them a lift back into where we picked them up from, and then we'll go get a bit of lunch and then mm. continue our afternoon. Come down to Oyster Bridge. It was a nice little fun forward drive track heading in here, but uh, yeah. keen to spend the afternoon uh, doing a bit of snorkeling. Yeah, Daniel has convinced me to try snorkeling, even though I'm still convinced <laughs> it's a bit too cold for my liking. Well, you got to. If you're going to do it anywhere, Coral Bay is a place to <laughs> do it. That is true. We picked up some new snorkel gear for me because last time I used mine, it disintegrated into thousands of pieces. Yep. So I picked up some new stuff and ready to test it out. So this is Oyster Bridge, one of the more popular snorkeling locations around the Coral Bay area. And as you can see, we have the whole place entirely to ourselves, which is just unreal. For such a popular spot, Bianca's uh, just feeling the water temperature for the first time. How is it? Oh. At least we tried to, but there's a bit of a swell out the back coming over the reef and... Yeah, it's kind of churning the water up where it pops over the reef and it's sort of like a bit of a spa bath yeah, situation. Yeah, it, uh, it makes it just like really hazy underwater, yeah. you can't see much. And so I'm sure the, the fish, fish are there, watering. we just can't see them. Yeah, and there was also like a really, really strong rip pulling us all the way along the reef and then out to the ocean, which wasn't so bad behind the reef, but when we got to the end, we were like trying to swim around to the end of it. And yeah, so we thought we'd kind of poke our heads around the corner of the reef there, but again, super churned up and we're just like, you'd, pat, you'd kick once with your uh, flippers and just be like 10 be metres like 10 that meters way. Out. And then trying to swim back, it was actually probably the strongest uh, current I've ever swam in, and that was with flippers, and I was struggling, so I was like, nah, yeah. time to go back to shore. So I, I don't think want to drown. We'll, um, we'll probably hit five fingers again tomorrow morning because that snorkeling yeah. was awesome this morning. Bianca has to get out I there chickened and experience out, and I didn't have fish. any snorkeling gear at that stage. I bought some in Coral Bay at lunch, so yeah. which I was planning to do. I was just, I didn't, 
I, it was too cold for me this morning. So. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I instead busted out my sandboard. So. Yep, classic Bianca style. She's been sandboarding up and down the hills, giving herself some Daniel injuries. Take some sick footage. Yeah, I've got. I ripped a toenail off. I've burst a few veins in my right foot, and I tweaked my left wrist. And I landed real hard on my backside once, so <laughs> um, plenty of injuries, but yeah. it was worth it. We got a cool shot, which I definitely got first take. No yeah, did you ignore these shots, but yeah, just, no, just look at the good first one. Take. Um, so, so we we're going to go for a bit of a full drive and go watch the sunset down at Maud's Landing, but <coughs> we still got this whole place to ourselves, Literally so we kind of just is. figured let's bring some snacks down here uh, and kind of just enjoy the sunset right where we are because it doesn't get much better than this. Looks like a pretty uh, clear afternoon as well and the wind's died down too, so honestly it's just magic down here. Uh, so it should make for a pretty nice sunset. We're just going to be hanging out here until such sunset occurs and then Bianca's going to take the reins and drive our D-Max back home, yep. back to uh, the caravan park I should say. Back to Rio. Yeah, <laughs> not yet. Still got a couple no, of days. Still there, so. got a couple of days, and boy, are we making the most of it. I just can't even. When do you ever get to sit on the beach like this? It's just I amazing. know. So the whole place to yourself. Beautiful. Um, anyway, but let's get some snacks into us and uh, enjoy yeah. the sunset. We're gonna enjoy this, and um, see you guys soon. Good morning and welcome to day two in Coral Bay and sadly the last day of our little trip. Uh, I want to go home. Yeah, we're heading home tomorrow unfortunately or via a stop on the way home. Maybe we just won't, we'll just keep going. Maybe. Who, yeah. needs, who needs a job and money? Screw it. <laughs> we'll just keep driving. So it's a uh, another windy day in Coral Bay today. So we're planning on uh, heading for a bit of a snorkel this afternoon where it looks like it's going to be calming down a little bit, which would yeah. be nice. We're going to go back to Five Fingers because I will want to swim there now that I have my snorkeling gear and know that it's warmer in the afternoon. So Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but in the morning, we're just going for a bit of a forward drive on Maud's Landing uh, area. It's kind of the first beach you can drive on out of uh, Coral Bay. Anyway, so we're going to have a pretty lazy morning, go for a bit more forward driving, uh, check out the area, and then uh, I don't Daniel know, head back for a bit wants to get his Oh, got to get my Coral Bay Affogato. Yeah. So Bianca's taking the reins of the D-Max for the trip home. How's she going? Good. It's a little scary, but that's just my own forward driving, not the car. There's a few uh, deep rut sections here. We kind of got to hop over the uh, the mounds on the beach, but well, I don't Yank's like doing it well. It, it like just takes. It never seems to drive in the direction you want it to, which I don't know. Lunchtime. Uh, we're just walking along the turtle cliffs, which apparently is where you can come and look for turtles. Yeah. Which I forgot about until just now. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Yeah, there's a nice dense reef that kind of extends along this section of coast. Yeah, apparently there's some turtle sighting opportunities, but we haven't seen any quite yet. The, uh, the good thing is the wind is dying off. It's actually just quite a nice breeze now. Yeah. And it is warming up. We are getting hot. We just put some sunscreen on. Bianca so, snorkeling weather coming up. Yes, definitely. So we're gonna eat some lunch. Daniel's gonna have his affogato. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna hit up Five Fingers and go snorkeling.
It is early afternoon and Bianca and I have walked up to the end of this Coral Bay area to make the most of this amazing view. Down there is uh, the main Coral Bay area with the, the pub section in on the right hand side here and all our uh, main accommodation strip down there. So we spent uh, a bit of a lazy day really, went for a bit of an explore four wheel drive this morning. Uh, Bianca took the reins of the D-Max and took yeah. us all over the place. Daniel so. let me go exploring and let yeah. me have, have uh, a free rein on this car. So it went really well, I didn't damage it at all. Um, Yet to be that uh, sounds determined. Really dodgy. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't break it. I went for a bit of a snorkel in the afternoon and uh, Bianca came in the water at Five Fingers and got to see some of those fish. I did. It wasn't the best conditions for snorkeling. There's just a lot of strong currents and it was windy and I don't, I don't, I don't like swimming over coral and so when the current's really strong it's kind of pulling you all over the place and you can't really predict where it's going to go and I'm a really weak swimmer so I don't particularly like being sucked around by water. Yeah. Um, but it was still nice and I got to see a little mini stingray. I nearly stepped on him, the poor thing. Um, <laughs> And then he scared me and then we took video footage of him. Yeah. He's had a great day. <laughs> so we're just going to sit here and kind of chill out for a little while. And we have booked in to go out for dinner tonight as a bit of a yes. finale to our little trip because it's our last full day and we're back on the road early, early tomorrow morning to make the, the big trip back to Perth. Yeah. Uh, so that should be nice. So we're probably going to wrap up filming for today right now. Yeah, um, and we might film a little bit on the road tomorrow and yeah. on Sunday, but otherwise this is almost concluding our 10 days of holidaying. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. After just over three and a half thousand kilometers, so more than doubling the kilometers on the uh, the Marty D Max, uh, 54 and a half hours in the car, our little adventure has come to an end. We're well and truly on the road home, but wanted to do one uh, final recording to, I guess, recap the trip and thank you guys for coming along on this journey with us. Yeah, we hope that you guys have enjoyed it as much as we have in terms of uh, the experiences that we've had. So we definitely had a load of fun in Karajini and then Coral Bay was a really nice relaxed chill out time for us and uh, yeah it kind of sucks to be heading home but that's pretty normal of any holiday I think but at yeah. the same time sort of looking forward to sleeping in our own bed and having a shower with clean water it's not salty. I suppose things we might change about the trip or kind of mm. things we've reflected on in hindsight number one would probably be not taking a dedicated freezer uh, we kind of thought at the time it's nice to have the luxury of being able to bring some frozen fruit, uh, frozen, fruit frozen fruit, frozen <laughs> food, uh, bread and bits and pieces like that. Yeah, it's kind and of a lot of that was like my own, I get uh, a little bit super over organized kind of thing and I was like anxious, you know, doing the whole like, oh my god, we need to have food for the next five months. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm worried about like, you know, how much time we'd have between like shops if we needed to get more food or like you know mainly meats and stuff for cooking but yeah as it turned out we barely needed the freezer we yeah to get by and the it. two main downsides of bringing it number one was storage space because we were kind of pressed for room oh my god yeah. uh, so that was uh, that's number one and number two was just that power consumption mm. it was okay like if we had the solar panels out like first thing in the morning until when we went to bed at night uh, all went on significant drives during the day but if we didn't it was like a big stress factor and as you guys saw like the uh, battery went yeah. flat on us one night completely which kind of made us a bit uh, sketchy about eating some of that food from the freezer not knowing how long it had been off for yeah uh, so probably wouldn't have bothered bringing that in future uh, or bringing that if we could have our time again second thing for me would be to get some uh, more grippy shoes for hiking through those gorge trails like I did not expect it to be as slippery as it was so that was a bit of an awakening for me I didn't really well, I stacked it a couple of times but nothing significant nothing crazy you weren't injured but no um, I never had a problem. I mean, yes, it was slippery for sure, but I just had my hiking shoes on and they were awesome. Uh, but even saying that, like, I think I would have been okay in joggers provided the sole wasn't like hard plastic. But all around a fantastic trip. And I also wanted to mention that Bianca's been riding away at the end of every day, the experiences we had uh, yeah, my little book here. during the day. And she's going to be publishing that in a blog on the website. We haven't exactly worked out exactly how it's going to happen. But by the time you're watching this, we'll have sussed that all out. And there'll be a link in the description down below. And that's uh, just if you want to uh, hear it from my own point of view. Um, and there's a lot more content in that. Bianca's been reading her drafts. Yeah, it's quite interesting stuff. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully you guys don't want to take it. And I want to be able to like show you guys some of the photos that we took as well. So I suppose all that's left to say is thank you guys so much for coming along on another one of our little adventures. Uh, we always love bringing you guys along and I guess it gives us something to look back on and remember our trips as well. And this has given us a really good taste for doing some longer trips and uh, 
we're going back with quite a list of little mods that we want to make uh, just from <laughs> stuff that we learned from this trip or thought of along the way uh, that we want to add to the car for hopefully some future longer trips. So thanks again for watching and we'll catch you guys again very soon for our next adventure. Thank you for watching. Happy camping. What's up guys? I'm here in Coral Bay. This is my boy Fee, Daniel. Hey. <laughs> 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 <laughs>